Your Apple Watch is loaded with a lot of amazing features. And in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and share with you my favorite tips and tricks, which are compatible, not just on the Apple Watch Ultra, even the regular series Apple Watches, or even the SE body that we have here. As long as your device is on the latest watchOS firmware update, here's a handful of amazing tips and tricks and hidden features. Let's get started. And of course, timestamps and everything will be in the description down below for your pleasure. Let's begin. Starting off is the capability to quickly switch between watch faces by just simply just swiping your finger as you're seeing me do right here. This is a feature that was disabled and re-enabled and possibly disabled again, which you have to go into manually turn this on. If you quickly go into your Apple Watch settings and launch the settings app and then go into the clock section and from here, just enabled swipe to switch watch face. And now you have the ability to switch between the watch faces by just simply doing that instead of long coding and rearranging them or long coding to reorganize them. The next thing I like to show you is a cool trick that's found in the smart stack. You see, if you have music playing nearby, the smart stack can ID them and show you the song that's playing right here, utilizing Shazam. And to demonstrate, I'm taking a different device. I'm gonna play a song. And right here, if we scroll down, it says Shazam recognize music. You could tap on it and it immediately begins identifying the song right here on your wrist and bam we have the song right there and from here with Shazam you can like link an Apple Music account so you can add it to your music playlist if you decide. If your music stack isn't doing this automatically you need to manually enable it so by simply just hopping back into your settings and then in the settings go down to privacy and security right in here and then just go down into the microphone section right in here and then go down and look for music detection, enable this. Now another neat thing about these new Apple Watches, the Apple Watch Ultra, the Series 11, the Series 10, the Ultra 3, even the SE third generation, is if you're listening to music on your wrist, you can utilize the internal speaker. So if we launch like the music app as an example, and you enter your playlist and you tap play, You can literally play the audio directly from the internal speaker of your watch. Now the control center is pretty cool. If you have an Apple Watch that supports satellite, you'll, you'll see a satellite icon right here, which you can actually program and add, which allows you to test the demo and see if you have good reception, connection to the satellite, to send a message, share your location, or signal an SOS emergency. So again, just hit control center, tap edit, and then just add the satellite, which you'll be able to find in this row of... Uh, columns right here and you'll see satellite right there. But what I want to primarily show you is for those that have iPhone that supports Apple intelligence. You see, if we go into the focus tab right in here and you go down, there's a reduce interruption which utilizes Apple intelligence. You can turn it on and by turning this on, the icon is different and it also changes it on your phone as well. But the beauty about this icon is only emergency notifications, like if your alarm goes off, your vehicle's alarm, somebody sends you an urgent text message, or it sounds important, you'll get that notification. But for everything else, like general questions like, like, how are you doing? Or, hey, how are you? You won't receive a notification on your wrist. Same goes for on your iPhone. So it's definitely a powerful tool if you're trying to limit distractions, but you only want to be notified if it's an emergency. I love this Apple intelligence do not disturb feature. And then another cool thing you could do in here is, of course, you could use the Find My to locate your phone in case you misplaced it. It'll play like a sound. And it will also use AirTag ability where you could tell if you're getting closer or further away. But not a lot of people know about this. Long holding on here will toggle the flashlight on your device in case you lost it or misplaced it in a dark room. But it doesn't just end there. You see, if you misplace your iPhone, you can launch the Find My app. And by launching it, I'm censoring this, but I did select in my Apple Watch and I could tap play sound and it'll start playing sound on the Apple Watch itself and it will utilize the heart rate sensor so you can help locate it in case you left it in a dark room as well. And once you discover it, you can dismiss it. So it works both ways. And real quick guys, if you've been enjoying this video so far, if you could kindly take two seconds and hit that like button and like, those really do help with the channel as that allows the channel to be driven by you guys, the viewers, which is why you don't see brands for a sponsorship segment taking like a minute or two off your time. Thanks to you guys, we don't have to do that and we don't need to rely on them. So I really do appreciate those that took the time just simply hitting the like button like, really does help out the channel. Let's carry on. Then another cool thing you could do in Control Center is 
if you activate theater mode and you cover your device, your device is not only on silent mode, but if you receive a notification, you'll still feel it on your wrist. It just won't play sound. And you can use the digital crown to take a quick peek. And once you're done, you could use digital crown to cover it. That's why it's called theater mode. Perfect for the cinema. But it doesn't just end there because if you use the flashlight app while you're in theater mode, it will automatically switch to red instead of the default white because red is known to maintain your night vision in a dark room. And also it's much less distracting in case you have to look for something you accidentally dropped on the floor during the theater. But you can still switch to the other like modes that it has by simply swiping your finger. But in theater mode, it'll default to red, which is quite nice. Then, another great tool about the Apple Watch is the camera app. One of the most underestimated apps is the camera app due to the fact that it's basically a viewfinder right here on your wrist. Because as soon as it connects to our phone, here you can see that the pair phone, the camera is activated, and you can view what's going on right here. You also have access to the digital zoom as well. So you can actually zoom in and zoom out from the digital crown itself. And you do have additional settings you can select from. You can also change the camera too if you want to switch it to the back or the front camera. And of course, long hold lets you actually record a video. And you can just pause it like so. Powerful tool, especially if you like to get creative, you could technically use this as a baby monitor, a temporary baby monitor if you absolutely need to. I even see mechanics use this as like a little camera where you could get into dark or harder reach areas and utilize, and utilize the flashlight on the camera and look through stuff in dark places or harder to see places for mechanics. And another thing you might have seen is by launching the camera app or some supported apps on your Apple Watch, you also get the smart hint on the watch face which will tap that you're using on your iPhone right here on your watch as well for quicker shortcuts. And then if you're somebody who uses the workout buddy whenever you start a workout, uh, if we tap start, you could tap again to bypass the three second timer. But when you end the workout or during a workout, you understand like sometimes the workout buddy starts talking to you. Well, if you have AirPods that support the head gesture movement, or if you're using like third party headphones like Beats, you could nod your head no, and it will actually just stop the workout buddy from talking to you. Or you can just toggle the pause and play button on the side of your earbuds. This will also end the chat as well. I like using this, especially if I'm having a conversation with somebody and Siri workout buddy just decides to interrupt my conversation. I just simply just tap once and then it will just dismiss. Additionally, if you ever need to do like a transaction at a fair or something like that, but you don't like to give your personal information if you like to use Apple Pay, you can use tap to cash. Just simply activate your Apple wallet and select the Apple Cash. And then from here, go down and you'll see tap to cash. Tap on it. Enter the amount you're buying like a certain product or exchanging funds. Tap continue. And then just double tap to confirm. And this animation will pop up showing you you could either complete transaction from iPhone to Apple Watch or Apple Watch to Apple Watch. And simply just take their device and just tap on the screen. And like in that little animation will then soon start. And we'll easily complete the transaction just like so. Again, no need to exchange contact information with that individual if you're just trying to basically send money out. Now, if you ever find yourself hiking, one of the best features is by holding on the power button on your Apple Watch, regardless if it's the Apple Watch Ultra or regular series or the SE Apple Watch, enable backtracking right here. This will utilize the built-in GPS, compass, and basically keep track of the path so when you're ready to come back, all you need to do is just follow the line and it'll take you directly on the path you took to get back safely. So when you're ready to backtrack, you simply just tap here and then select retrace path. And all you need to do is just follow the line and you'll make it back to the campsite where you first started. Now I have seen some comments and some users reporting that their backtracking isn't working for them. You are going to need to go on your iPhone and go into your settings. And then in settings, just go into privacy and security right in here and tap on location services and then scroll down till you find compass right here is this black icon and just make sure you have while using the app as well as precise location enabled and then next thing you got to do is what i like to do is just exit out here and just search up system services click on it and go all the way to the very bottom this bottom one enabled make sure it's turned on it will require face id 
and just have it turn on. And this will record all your previous logs and locations you've been going to. So this is what you need to enable to have backtracking work. Because if I go ahead and turn it off and then just confirm, and we go back to the watch and I activate tracking, you'll get this message on your watch saying that it cannot do it unless you change that setting, but it doesn't specify the exact setting, but now you know exactly what to do. And lastly, you know, when you receive an incoming call, you could either cover your wrist to like end the conversation or dismiss notifications. Well, you can now just flip your wrist like this and it will dismiss the call. Or you can use the double pinch gesture to pick up the call and you can double tap to end the call. This works for alarms, notifications, and you can also navigate your Apple Watch by just simply doing this to scroll and do this to dismiss. If you like to enable this on your watch in case it's not working or enabled, you need to go into your Apple Watch settings and then scroll down to gestures. And then from here, make sure it's enabled. And then you could decide if you want double tap, which is the pinch thing, mute to cover, which is to like, and wrist flip, flip to do that little wrist flip movement to dismiss. But there you guys have it. Those are some handful of amazing hidden features and some tips and tricks you need to know in case you own the latest generation Apple Watch. Again, some of these features are not just exclusive to the Ultra 3. They're also available on the Series 11, Series 10, and older Apple Watches, as well as the SE2 and the SE3. As long as your device is on the latest firmware update of WatchOS 26, you should find a majority of these features, about 80% of what I showed you in today's video, on your device as well. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed, if you wish to watch more, maybe you'd like to see a more in-depth video, tips and tricks video similar to this, but for the Apple CarPlay side of things, I cover that all in greater detail in this video over there. Trust me, I go through a lot of amazing stuff that not a lot of people know about, which will make your CarPlay experience a whole lot better. You won't be disappointed. Definitely do check out that video over there. Thank you so much for watching.